welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Um, today we're going to be doing a fun review. We're going to be reviewing that Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation and Concealer. I received so many requests to review this, so I'm so excited that I'm going to be doing it now. I have um, both the foundation and concealer, and we're going to try this on. I'm going to be using some of this Rose Oil Moisture Stick by Tony Moly, I believe. Yep. Yeah. They have an amazing cool skincare stuff. Oh, this is very hydrating. I'm just putting it on my dry ass nose because it is super dry. I'm then going to be using the Embryo Lease Philodem Emulsion Moisturizer. This is for dry skin. I love the little size so much that I had to get full size in this. It's just very hydrating. I kind of like the weird scent it has. Um, I, I got so many questions on um, Instagram as to why I like it and if I do like it better than the normal um, Embryo Lease one. As you can tell, I do like the original. This is more like it's very hydrating to be honest and I've loved it. My sister loves it and she has really dry skin. Um, it's more like a primer as well. It's like a universal product. Um, you can wear it anytime, whenever you want to be honest. It's a moisturizer, makeup primer, moisturizing mask. It's just a multifunction nourishing moisturizer. And it gives a supple and plumped up soft smooth radiant complexion. Use morning and all night as a makeup base, moisturizer, cleanser or mask. So it's like a multi-use product and it happens to be very hydrating but not overly hydrating so now this one the philodel one is for dry skin re-lipidizing comfort care leaving the skin supple and smooth soft and soothe apply to clean dry skin in the morning and evening spread gently and leave to penetrate so they both have the main active ingredients which are um beeswax shea butter aloe vera and soy proteins but i just feel like this is a multi-use product and this is more of like a repairing moisturizer for dry skin it's very hydrating a little bit more than the normal one so I love both um, I need to repurchase this but I might finish this one first it's really nice I just love finding like new skincare okay now that our skin it is nicely prepped and hydrated we're going to use the foundation this is a quick close-up of it and i use the shade 11.2 this is a radiance foundation with hyaluronic acid i love anything with hyaluronic acid it has 50 shades and i cannot fault revolution for that i love that they cater to everyone and they've got a good range it has a plumping effect a satin glow finish is for every skin type and tone but very beneficial for dry skin hyaluronic acid it offers all day radiance and glow without settling into fine lines or clinging to dry patches and it says it offers medium to full coverage so let's try this it comes oh this one comes in a pump i thought it would have a big stick like the other one so yeah it comes with a pump it's definitely a bit more runny but that's my shade. I don't want to put too much. It definitely feels softer, a bit more hydrating. It feels very wet. I'm just going to use a brush. Okay, that was a quick application. It was really easy to apply and blend. It's very, it's definitely on the glowy side. Like my skin's extra glowy. Um, if you compare to the pigmentation on my eyes, this covered my skin really well. Um, I would definitely say medium to full and you can definitely build up. I only put a little bit of product. I only used a pump and I've still got some on my hand. I just love this glowy base finish and it's got a nice coverage. It's not cakey. Um, so, so far, I'm really liking the way this foundation looks. Let's now apply some concealer. So in the concealer, I got F10.5. I thought I wanted to go a bit lighter. And it says, again, Radiance Concealer with Hyaluronic Acid. And it gives medium to full coverage. It's definitely got a thick doe foot applicator. Oh, I'm happy with the shade as well. Oh, 
one thing I can say about it, it feels very thin, like it doesn't feel cakey at all. It's blending really nicely. Yeah, to me that's covered really well. The shade's really nice as well. Yeah, this looks good. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. If you guys want to see how I got this look, make sure to follow me on Instagram where I do little mini tutorials on there. So this base is definitely very dewy right now. To be honest, I don't mind. I'm just going to little powder a little bit. But if I'm going to wear this during summer, I definitely need to be a bit more careful because it's very dewy but I'm not mad at it it feels very hydrating I wouldn't recommend this for oilier skin types unless you powder really well but yeah it's now 9 20 a.m in the morning we're gonna wear this all day long when we film some other videos I'm actually do a workout as well and we'll see how this base holds up I'm so happy I'm not wearing false lashes today but I'm really like digging this look it's so simple but like really colorful as well so yeah we're gonna keep an eye on the smile lines we're gonna see how shiny this get gets but this is I love how skin like it is and I can't, I've only got good things to say apart from like the extra juniors of it coming from someone who has really dry skin I'm not mad I, I don't mind looking a bit oily sometimes okay <laughs> I have no shame but like I said I'm gonna head off and we'll see how this looks later on today all right guys I'm now back it is now almost six I need to edit this video I've had this foundation and concealer on for a good almost nine hours and to be honest it stayed pretty well i've had the dog on my face so i haven't done a workout but i've been laying everywhere and just chilling and cooking and been really hot um and to be honest i'm not mad at the foundation i actually kind of like it i'm really happy with the shade and i think it's slightly more to my summer time shade now the container really didn't like scream to me there was some creasing where i had to like go like this my mom was like what's wrong with your under eyes and there was major creasing so i can't say that the concealer does not crease i do like the original conceal um and correct con conceal and correct concealer just the original one without the hydrate this one definitely does crease you're going to get a little bit of creasing with any concealer it's just the way your eyes are especially mine i get i have deep set lines under my eyes um but it's just some concealers crease less than others like my Tarte Shape Tape it's very very minimal and you can barely see it this you could actually see creases like dark deep set creases with like product build up in them so I'm gonna give the concealer a pass for sure and to be honest the coverage is okay but I just feel like it's faded a little bit and I don't know you can still see like my um, hollowness under my eyes. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm so tempted to get um, under eye filler where like, just to like fill up the hollowness. I'm just being real here, but I just wanna do it. I wanna give it a try. There's so much taboo about around like surgeries and you know, putting fillers and stuff, but I have nothing against it. But, and I've always tried to stay away from it, like especially with my face, because to be honest, you do see a lot of it online. But I feel like the older I get, I'm not 24, well, I say that as if I'm really old. 24 is not old, but I feel old in me. I just feel like I'm an old soul. Um, but I feel I these hollowness under my eyes, I just want them lifted, you know? Anyways, that's a whole other subject. Nothing a concealer can fix, to be honest. But yeah the concealer didn't really speak much to me like it did not dry my under eyes for one that's one thing normally i get like product build up sometimes if the concealer is too dry for me but that didn't happen here i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna use this concealer ever i probably will like on my really really natural days i do like how it brightens would i repurchase it i probably not um but the foundation i'm really happy with it i know i will get this question and that's if i prefer the revolution pro cc foundation that just came out or this conceal and hydrate i think i definitely prefer the cc foundation like i don't know i just i love the f the way it makes my skin look and the shade of it is a bit better it's more like yellowy olivey rather than this one which is more orangey you guys i was so right this is the cc cream which i feel like has a more a bit more yellowness this is the conceal and hydrate foundation and i feel like it has a bit more orange tones in there the cc perfecting foundation just feels so much more like bouncy and almost like a moisturizer i think I, I don't know how much i rated this foundation to me it's like a 10 out of 10 i really like it this didn't give me smile lines so i'm going to give it like an 8 out of 10 the only thing i would say is that when i was walking by the mirror and i look at my skin it was super dewy like extra dewy so you do want to make sure you powder with this no smile lines it looks flawless 
after nine hours it actually doesn't look bad it hasn't gone dry or cakey in some areas it hasn't made my skin flaky these are the things that i'm really looking for apart from the extra dewiness i just have nothing else to say about it so it's a good foundation and it's very affordable you've got a ton of shades so if you're looking for good foundation this is definitely one i would recommend um they have so many options to be honest and for all skin types but yeah i definitely prefer this for sure and the concealer is meh so yeah that's my review on these two products i hope you found this video helpful and if you want me to review any other products let me know in the comments below make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next one bye